Okay, let's keep on going. Take it if it, re if it resonates. Uh, I'm not really doing a sign specific. I just wanted to get some content for the Instagram and the Facebook. I have other content mapped out for the YouTube and the TikTok to post later on today. Your boy's getting fancy with it. Scheduling posts and shit because Lord knows my schedules are flipped. My days and nights and so I don't get as many hits if I don't schedule it for the daytime. It took a while for that to click, but it did. Knight of Wands in the reverse. This is healthy expressions, habits, outlets. Being mindful of where your energy is going. Even the energy that you eke out or leak out, that can be siphoned up and directed towards your manifesting. I've been on a jag lately about manifestation, uh, dipping into the 5D, feeling as if you already have that thing, and actually making it a ritualistic process where you do it every day you go to that kind of workbench or that altar of success is what i'm calling it and you write your manifestations you listen to i recommend theta alpha binaural beats to sync your brain hemispheres into that kind of mojo magic of manifesting um you know higher quantum potentials if you will i mean i don't care you know how uh Woo, woo that sounds but you know i'm all in on that um, and then also you have this imagery here obviously there's going to be the backed up support of the physical action right you're not going to just simply will yourself into achieving some sort of goal or benchmark um you know by the sheer will of your thoughts or your thinking but what you can do is essentially uh hypnotize yourself into seeing that more of um uh, in your world those opportunities so the knight of wands in the reverse is that healthy expression the action but the ace of sword in the upright is the is the impetus it's the it's the inkling to want to even you know um, move in that way or get that way about you where you're tapping into higher powers than just the 3d um, and thus I mentioned being mindful of where all your attentive resources are going, um, your emotional, energetic resources. Because if you're not, then you're just going to be running some lame-ass default program that the Matrix has you running on. Low vibration, sex, drugs, rock and roll, Netflix, you know, predictive programming shit, so... Um, and this is the clarity of mind to be like, nope, I'm going to be part of the enlightened group of people that are actually going to manifest this realm into a better reality is how I'm taking that. And you're going to be victorious and successful because it's just always going to be like the Satanists versus the Godists, you know. Um, I've been reading the Page of Cups in the reverse as not stepping in the same river twice. I also read it as the Winds of Change in this deck. Um, and then this is obviously being kind of synced up with your intuitive abilities, your intuitive psychic abilities, warmth, generous with your energy um, in however way you are. in the upright this is a free financially free independent and abundant it's a sexy single bustling butte of a card um, and this is something that you tune into this is something that you embody freedom not weighed down value resource value emanates from you regardless of what the 3d tells you first and foremost but you're not limiting to being able to manifest that in the 3d either okay you're having your cake and eating it too boo boo all right i'm gonna leave it there how for more 444 on the clock yep